Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB Performance. Today's topic is Yankees superstar outfielder Aaron Judge, who suffered a quote-unquote significant left oblique strain on April 20th while taking a swing in the sixth inning of the Yankees' eventual 7-6 walk-off win against the Kansas City Royals. He'll now be joining 12 other teammates on the injured list. So the oblique is actually a set of two muscles, the internal and external oblique, that runs down each side of the torso, starting at the lower ribs and inserting on the hips. They're part of the vaunted core muscle group. The obliques are involved in nearly every baseball activity, ranging from maintaining and stabilizing posture, rowing, running, jumping, and swinging. They serve as a key link between the lower and upper body, helping to transfer force along that kinetic chain. Accordingly, it's no surprise that oblique strains are a common baseball injury, accounting for nearly 4-5% of all MLB injuries. Of that total, the majority of oblique strains occur to the lead side during swinging, meaning the side opposite the bat, in the first three months of the season, each of which lines up with Aaron Judge's injury. This detailed, drilled-down research comes from the MLB Health and Injury Tracking System, otherwise known as HITS, which was started in 2010. HITS also gives us insight into Aaron Judge's potential timeline for return, particularly since the Yankees have listed him out as indefinitely without any target date, with manager Aaron Boone saying that the team will be reevaluating over the next couple weeks and then setting a sharper timeline, lightly trying to avoid the lightly trying to avoid the fiasco of last season where the team was pestered with questions after Judge returned later than expected while recovering from a chip fracture to his right wrist. Based on that hits data for oblique strains, the average return to play timeline for oblique strains suffered during a swing is three weeks, with nearly five more days missed on average for injuries to the lead side compared to the trail side. That would put Judge's return around May 11th. However, it wouldn't surprise me at all if the Yankees play it even safer and are more conservative with his timeline because of how early in the season it is, how important of a player he is to their World Series hopes, and lastly, because his level of power and strength puts even more stress through the obliques than the average player. A team will make sure he's at 100% before he gets back and try to mitigate any chance at re-injury. The data shows that nearly 8.15% of baseball players returning from an oblique strain do suffer a recurrence. All in all, oblique strains tend to be relatively short-term injuries for baseball players with an average RTP timeline of about three weeks, but have to be managed effectively and carefully because of how involved they are in many baseball movements, specifically rotational movements like throwing and batting in Aaron Judge's case. Further, Aaron's strength and explosive power puts more stress on the obliques, which may make the Yankees even more prudent with his rehab and return to play timeline. I could easily see him missing around a month. That is it for this video. You can always find me on Instagram and Twitter at 3CB Performance. Thanks for watching and feel free to like, comment, share, and sub to the channel. 3CB out.